Greetings and welcome back one and all to Rimworld and to the colony of Oolong Rice. <laughs> the colony of Oolong Rice? My lord. Ah, it's going to be one of those days. Clearly, I need a sip of tea before we begin. Okay, right. Well, the first thing I would like very much to do is this is going to be built before too long. We'll have our machine shop in about there. I think we can probably afford to move, well, at least the Stonecutter's table, or perhaps, you know what, well, let's have a look at what else we've got production-wise. We've got prosthetics, we don't want that, but a Sculptor's table might not be bad. I would not mind that at all, in fact. So, yeah, let's go ahead and build a Sculptor's table, but first, let's see, we want this to be... Sure, we'll make it out of... Oh, we can only make it out of wood or steel. Uh, we do not really have enough wood. Hmm. Alright, well, steel it is then. We'll build it out of steel and we'll pop it right there. We will then be decommissioning the stonecutter's table. Moving this chair along. Right there. And... We're going to need a new one about there, as well as a new, where are we, stonecutter's table, right there as well. Can that be made? No, nope, can't. Well, drat. Oh well. We've got plenty of time. I'll just allow that to tick through. Hopefully we can get more of those rhinos broken down. Isildur, can you, well, I'll let you store that first. Now I'd like to butcher. So I don't want these to, yeah, they're almost, all very almost gone. Let's drop off the meat, thank you. That's all we needed. I would like you to butcher another one though. Go ahead. No. There we go. And Evelyn can, okay, no, no mind. Isildur's in the next one apparently. Yes? Oh, wow. Isildur, you liar! I knew it! Scallywag, you. There we go. All of the rhinos are butchered. We've got all of the meat now. That is very good. Ha 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 ha! Right, the crematorium is set up. It is time for us to add a bill. Now, the first thing I would like to do... I'm not going to cremate corpses. Uh, I don't... No, we're not going to cremate corpses, but we are going to cremate apparel. Now, the first thing I would like... I'm going to clear all of this any tribal way that is below, uh, that is anything up to normal. Any good tribal way or above will keep. We may be able to sell. Then the next one is burn anything that is below, it is from awful to normal, but it's below, let's say, 50 hit points. No point. At that point, it's it's getting so bad that it's really not going to bring us in any money whatsoever. Now, I would very much like to make sure that the no roof zones are in correct places. Yes, indeed they are. Oh, that can be expand no roof. There we go. And generally speaking, we are good, I would say. Yes. All right. I'm happy with that. We are digging away through the walls. Fantastic. We've got plenty of work done there. Though, one thing I would like to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build some extra doors between the... Oh, actually, that's in the wrong place. Between the uh, doorways that can lead out. This way, any invaders have to go through a couple of doors to actually be able to do any harm to the colony. That way, it should dissuade some of the things that we've been seeing going on. Uh, we'll need one down here as well. And one down here. Uh, actually, there's no point to that one, since they go straight through. These ones we'll leave as is, because there's already so many doors there anyway. But this one as well. There we are. Uh, sure, we'll put one there as well. That one, we don't need one. Right, there we go. And eventually we'll add some doors in there as well. So it'll, it'll add an extra layer to all of that. Now, what I would like up here is, honestly, some flooring. We want some interesting looking flooring this time. Um, yeah, we've got enough. We're going to go and place down a bunch of floors in there. And that's going to be our battery room. Starvation. 
Okay, they're not starving anymore, so that's fine. There we are. This is all set up now. That is fantastic. The next time we get a fight here, we can actually employ the grenade tactic, which is really the, the center point of the whole defense system. Then That's the whole reason I built it that way. Now then, I think it may be time for us to work on some more rooms. I really do. Um, do we have enough wood to build a new bed? I'm not sure that we do. No. Perhaps if we can get some wood from outside, we will set that up. Let's provide a chop wood order. I mean, there is quite a lot of wood out there. Hmm. You know what? I think there's so much wood out there. I'm going to give those who are set for hauling a super high priority for it for now. Just get out there. Do the hauling, please. I want everything brought in. Just just for now, let's get everything sorted out because there's so much stuff just right. Ah, really? An unusual heat wave has begun. Watch out for heat stroke. Uh, okay. Oh, that sucks. This room's going to get super hot. Um, this room is going to be okay. This room's going to be fine. These, not so much. Honestly, this that room's going to struggle. I may want to add an external cooler. You know what? Sure. I'll put Since I've got the heater in Ben and Megan's room, I'll put the cooler in Isildur and Evelyn's room. That way they can sort of share out the burden a little bit. There we go. We'll build that there. That should be alright for now. Let's just make sure everything is getting hauled though. Get everything in please that you can. There we go. It's going to take a little while because there is a lot to haul but hopefully we'll bring the, the wood in fairly quickly if nothing else. Uh, we will also expand this. Structures. No, we want zones. Stockpile zone. There we are. And we don't want to be grabbaging the garbage anymore. We want this to be garbage. There we go. Oh my lord. I am so bad at noticing spelling mistakes. Uh, electric stove is gone down. That's fine. We're, we're good with that. But it is getting very hot outside. Very, very hot indeed. 23 degrees in there. 30 degrees in here. 29 there. It's getting very warm. Very warm in a lot of places. Uh, there's not a lot we can do about it, though. It's, it, it's at least night time right now, though. So things are going to be a little bit better for, for most people. And wood is being hauled in. That is fantastic to see. I'm pleased with that. Um, more room is being made in the stockpile with getting rid of the really shoddy clothes that no one is ever going to wear. And that's also making room for new clothes to be made as well. Because when we get rid of the clothing that we're never going to wear, new clothing is made to bring up the various quantities to the, the ratios that I've set. Ooh. Hello. Oh, you're leaving. Uh, Rambo, do you think you could trade with them before they go? Do you reckon you're going to be able to get down there in time? You might be able to. You're moving pretty quick. But so are they. No, you caught up. Well done. Um, we've got a lot of rhinoceros meat, my lord. Uh, right, I will take the one herbal medicine you've got, and I will sell you the peeler that we've got. And, yeah, the poor steel spear as well. There you go. We'll, we'll make a little bit of cash. Did you bring that in? Because that will not last very long outdoors. The money can be brought in whenever. Poor mood, Rambo. Didn't like being woken up. Really didn't like being woken up. Feeling terrible, in a modern amount of pain, disturbed sleep, joy deprived, hot, shared bedroom, worn out apparel. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, let's see. A local mega scarab has gone mad. That's actually not good. It's going to go for the visitors, though. If it can reach them in time. No. It's given up. Uh, oh, fiery. No. Fiery, why? Fiery. This is now your bed. Stop sleeping outdoors in the thirty degree thirty three degree heat, please. Um I'm gonna need some people to go outside and deal with that next guy, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. Okay, right, well I would like you to go equip a weapon. Do you really not have a weapon? Wow. Uh why not? Where's the weapon then? Uh okay, well, Grab the steel mace then, I suppose? Oh, I never set you up with the weapon, that's why you don't have one. <laughs> um, alright. Actually, 
first and foremost, did I not set you up with your? Oh, I'm, I'm sure I had. I'm a dip. Okay, Fiery, let's let's assign you. Right, we want worker clothes for you. In that case, what's your skill? Actually, you are better at melee. So, okay, you're going to be joining the shock troopers then. There you go. So you can keep your shield and go grab a, a mace. There we are. And go grab a helmet as well. Ideally. Let's make sure no one goes outside for now. So make sure everyone is indoors. Oh no. Fiery went out. Nope, get inside. Thank you, Fiery. Rambo's in a poor mood. Alvin. That Mega Scarab can really mess you up. So go there. Zorakis, Redneck Gamer, come join. There we go. Fiery, you're also joining. Now you're all going outside. Right. Get you done there. Well, you know, you did good enough, I think. Melee attack. Everyone get in there. Hopefully you don't die and you can leave. Well done. That actually went down pretty much without a hitch. Well done, everyone. Alvin's got the mech scarab. Awesome. Redneck gamer. Oh, you have two. Cowering! Coward! Go haul! There we go. Visitors! They seem to have items to trade. Really? Because I don't see any items. Ah, there we are. Where's Rambo right now? Oh, you know what, Rambo? You just chill out for a bit. Uh, who's our next best warden? That would be... Probably going to be Geode Miner. Yeah, okay. Geode Miner? Go have a chat. Let's find out if they've got anything that we want. Uh, they've got kibble, they've got components. Sure, I'll take the components and I'll also take the medicine. Uh, I will also flat up by the grenades. More grenades, more fun times. We don't have anything to trade though, so... Well, we kind of do, kind of don't. Um, sure, you can have all of these then. There we go. We've reduced the amount that we're giving them a little. If you could haul the medicine and that's the main one because that will actually go off. And someone would please come over here to grab the rest. No, it's people's chill out time now. They are chilling out. There we go. Perfect. Bringing in all the good stuff. Now that I'm not going to be giving anyone any particular construction orders just yet, because I really, really want the wood brought in and, and just general things to be prioritized for now. Um, that being said, though, I won't mind it if you uh, stop your rest of your work in order to get the cooler built. In fact, I would kind of appreciate that. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, you're not suffering from heat stroke. Food poisoning and heat stroke initial. Heat stroke initial. Let's keep going through. Just keep an eye on everyone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alvin, you're not injured. How hot is this room? It is a little bit too hot. All right. That's not good. That is really not good. Isildur, please don't. Oh, dear. A group of tribes people from the Purple Ridge people have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense, or attack them preemptively. Let's see. What a beautiful blue hair you have. Mostly ranged attackers. That is actually kind of cool. Uh, that is not being brought in. Let's keep a close watch on what's going on right now. Mm, what's this temperature? 51. They're working in a very hot environment right now. It's only 47 outside, so it's not even getting colder. Um, right, we finished machining. Build machining tables to craft guns and machinery or disassemble dead mechanoids. We're not going to do any more research. We are going to set this up to be built. Right there. It's going to take us a while. Alvin, I'd really like it if you would just chill out for a while. Um... Can I not get... Alright, go just stand indoors for a bit. Once they decide they want to attack... Critical mood... Is that Alvin? No, it's Rambo. What's up, Rambo? Extremely hot. How are you doing? Yeah, Rambo also serious. 
Go chill out. You get out of today's festivities. All right, they're beginning their assault. Everyone else, time for you to be drafted and go there. But Rambo and Alvin are staying in the cool room. It's 33, this is 37. Well, you can stand in here then. Um, we're going to lose a lot of our food, unfortunately. And there's nothing we can do about it. These are fantastic because they are keeping our food refrigerated anyway. That is actually really good. No matter what, they're staying refrigerated. Despite the insane temperatures we've got elsewhere. Alright, Evelyn. Need you to equip the frag grenades. Zarakis. Equip those frag grenades. Fiery, equip these frag grenades. Go, go, go. Right, now I need you to drop your shields for now. You do the same. And you do the same. And off we go. I'm really sorry about this, but you're no use to me as regular attackers. Right, they're going to begin their assault. I really should have had my troops out here ready. Just get you out. Where is Red Hat Gamer? Red Hat Gamer is over there. Red Hat Gamer is now going to be down here. Go, go, go. Get you out there, please. Oh, there are a lot of people, but this should go our way. If we can just get indoors, that's going to be great. Fiery. Evelyn. Zarakis. Now then, we're going to see the full power of this system. Slow down time a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry, um, Nauki. Yo, yo, and Rickon. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be a good time for you, I can promise you. Oh, well. We'll see how this plays out. You coming in? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Let's let a couple of people come in. And then you can all die. Already got a couple of shots on them. There we go. One down. You going to pop through? There we go. Excellent. Rambo, how are you feeling? Feeling terrible. Very hot. In moderate amount of pain. Tired. Shared bedroom. Right. You can go to sleep then. Hopefully, that's where you go. Yep. And Alvin, same thing. Go to bed. No? Not go to bed. Go to eat. That's fine. I approve of that. That's fine. Keep the shots coming down. Well done. Now, once they've actually got a reasonable amount of people um, kind of uh, set up down there, we'll go for it. But we want a few more than just, a, you know, one or two. We want like five or six people, and then a grenade or two would be very useful. There we go. Thought better of it. Surprised you're still going for it? No, nope, you're dead. Not too surprised about that, I suppose. Right, another one down. You're incapacitated. Got a couple of people gathering up now. I think it is time for Evelyn to throw that quickly. It's gonna hurt otherwise. Now get back. Back, 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 back. There we go. And there we go. We have, we have convinced them to leave. I mean, that wasn't amazing, but it did work more or less as I intended. So I'm very happy with that. What I should have done is actually had Fiery go for that one while Evelyn went for the grenade down here. But all that matters is that their group has decided to flee. That door has been broken. We can just repair it. What about down here? That one's fine. Any other doors broken? No, I don't think so. Looks like one door got bust. That's that's not a problem for us. We'll go ahead and we'll set that up with slate blocks straight away. Now then, if I had actual um, runners, uh, melee combatants here, which I would have liked to have had if it weren't for the fact that I kind of needed them to not be... Um, to not be outdoors. I needed to keep them in the cold rooms. I would have had them down here ready to charge out and take them out as they were fleeing, but we'll just have to leave that for now. Alright, the most important things right now. Grab the meals. Grab those types of meals. Zarakis. Grab the 
fine meals. Everyone else should be on the move. There we go. Once they're outdoors, they can start shooting at them as they're trying to flee. You can go there. There. Ah, I've got two people with pump shotguns that are absolutely going to be no use. Uh, actually, only one person with pump shotguns. Okay, well, you can go back then. And on your way back, you can grab these fine meals. Are you not going to kill? Really? I can't say I approve. Move on up. Snipers would have been good at this point to take them out as they were fleeing. Not going to shoot? Why not? Oh! That's actually not one of the enemies. <laughs> Just as well you didn't shoot, I suppose. Oh well then, you can head back in. I'll let you deal with the hauling later. Right now, just uh, get indoors if you can. The rain and the fact that it's night is helping with the heat tremendously, but it's still rough right now. Let's get everyone inside. There we go. Be a little bit better soon. Mental state dazed. Ah, damn it. Mental state dazed. Well, Geode Miner. I'm just going to have to wait for you to eventually go to sleep if I can, but please stop waking people up because that's going to annoy the dickens out of them. Let's get all these shields, make sure they're active. There we go. Starvation, low food, low medicine, heart is not connected, need research, project, need batteries, poor mood. A lot of things on the side that are always going to be there that really don't actually matter. Well, that's a little bit annoying, but there we are. There we go. You should be going and getting yourselves your uh, shields again as and where you need them. For now, I will go about and add in the extra doors that I needed. Where I need them. There we go. Got some more traders. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm down with getting some more trading done. And that's a lot there. Uh, Rambo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What on earth happened? Did Rambo go mad? Did Rambo attack someone or just pass out from the heat? Oh, Rambo probably passed out from the heat, yeah. Um, Alvin has got a severe illness. Ah, oh, damn it. It'll be Heatstroke Extreme. Well, I want you to... Okay, Hazel does reserve them. Please get them to bed quickly, and I want you to rest there pretty much forever. Just stay there for now. This room is not nearly cold. Well, actually, it's not too bad. It's not terribly bad, at the very least. All right. Jack, could you prioritize this? Need more materials. Okay. Well, someone's going to have to go outside and work on uh, some mining then. Start bringing those materials in. Also, do we not have components? we got some components out there that need to be hauled in, actually. Evelyn's bringing in some more food here and there. And we've got bodies to bury. And we're fast running out of places to bury them. That is not good. All right, let's find... Uh, all right, we want to rotate that around. Make sure all of these go into place. Well, there are some risks with putting the graves outside. It's because the colonists actually like visiting the graves. So, if they pop out to pay their respects, then they're going to put themselves in a bit of uh, a dangerous situation, but uh, well, it's just the way it's going to go, I'm afraid. Then in some more metal slag. We've got plenty of steel at this point, I would say. We really need to bring in the components, honestly. Uh, once we've got that, then this whole section should be okay. Right. Connors needs medical attention. What's up? Uh, nuzzled. Okay. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Belladonna, you need to be with Ben. And Dudley, you need to be with Isildur to keep them happy. 
Um, severe illness, though. How are you guys doing? Is it going to calm down a bit? Let's hope it does. 64 and 63. Well, we're just going to have to hope that they, they make it through. There's not much we can do, but... Have a look. Heat stroke, 64 still. As long as it doesn't get any worse. It's 24 degrees. It's actually not that bad. In fact, the temperature... Uh, the, heat, the heat wave is gone. Oh, they should survive. That is good. They should survive. Colonist needs treatment. Geode miner. What do you need treatment for? Gut worms untreated, yeah. Now, it's going to need uh, several... Um, treatments before they're they're good again but hopefully jack could you treat actually do you mind when you go and rest until healed there we go jack if you could treat them i really would be quite grateful oh you're going to use the uh good medicine very well i'm all right with that now we are going to need more and more and more mining done over here that done. Uh, it's going to be the components that we really need, though. Right, stone cutter's table is set up. Let's go ahead and make stone blocks until we have. Uh, boom. Let's put it up to. You know what? Let's take it all the way up to 750. And then they can stop there. There we go. I'll give you plenty of work to do. Now, stone sculptor's table. Now, this is where art comes in. What? Ornate plant pots? Really? That's fantastic. I haven't seen those before. Let's actually have a look at this. All right, requires 15 ingredients. All right. Or, you know, a lot of silver or gold. I don't want any silver or gold ones. Or uranium or jade for now. Or vancidium or plasteel. To be honest, I don't really want steel either. So wood or stone blocks. But plant decorative flowers here to improve the mood of people nearby. The beauty of the plant pot is 26 by default. Whereas this plant pot has no beauty. So the plant pot itself would be beautiful. Okay, do until I have 10. I don't mind what they're made of. Just knock yourselves out. But I would also like a couple of small sculptures. And do X times. I would like five of these. And again, I don't want to make a silver, gold, uranium or jade. I will be making it of jade once I have jade to make it of. But for now, stone blocks and wood are the only things that I really want to. There we are. That's actually pretty cool. I, I had no idea about that. That's fantastic. Make the sculptures first, though, I think. I think that's going to be important. Um... Generally speaking, I may want to roof this area over, but I don't think either of these are actually powered, so I don't think there's any chance that they're going to short, so maybe I won't. Maybe we'll leave it as. There we go. Things are being brought in. That's good to see. I've only got a couple of people who do this as a super high priority, but... Um, fiery. I'm going to downgrade that. I want you doing your art first. But we are going to increase a couple of things. Jack, I want you hauling. You're pretty capable. Get to hauling. There we go. We haven't got many constructors, but right now I would rather things be brought in than more things made. There we are. Hopefully Fiery's going to enjoy this. There we are. Making a small sculpture. Group of travelers nearby, plenty of food being harvested. I imagine a lot of food went off, unfortunately. In fact, yeah, it looks like we've got through a lot of our food. So hopefully we'll be able to start storing more and more of it. Once there's 10 in there, they'll just store it in here, which is fine by me. And on the whole, I think things are reasonable for the time being. There's a couple more things they need to haul in, especially the woods, but uh, that'll be that'll be fine. The, the woods. By that, I mean the wood. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode, I think. I hope you've enjoyed. I was really pleased to be able to use the grenades. Oh, we need to, we need definitely need to uh, tweak this a little bit, especially this area. But I think this defensive structure is actually working well. 
I will probably replicate it on the different sides as well. So we have multiples of these kinds of defenses that we can use against people. I will eventually add in the deadfall traps around here just to weaken those who are attacking ahead of us actually uh, fighting them. But that, that'll come later. So until next time, as ever, I would warmly welcome any feedback and a like on the video. Let me know you want to see more RimWorld. But until then, do take care.